Hi, this is Stephen Danieletto from Metropolis Magazine in Tokyo here. I'm here to give you a little demonstration on radioactivity. I have here my Geiger counter, a DigiLert 100, and I have here uh, the source or the active component from your typical smoke alarm, which everyone has in your house, and if you don't, you should have one. But you can see here the little radioactive symbol. This contains a quite radioactive component, which is americium uh, 241. Now, listen to what happens when I put it near the Geiger counter. Wow, that's really radioactive. Okay, but, however, let me just put this here. Watch this. If I put a sheet of paper in front of it, it almost stops. So this is highly radioactive, but this is stopped by a sheet of paper. Now this is called alpha decay, and when, it, when the atom of americium-241 breaks down, it gives off a hydrogen atom and turns, a helium atom, sorry, and turns into a lower element. Uh, now, like I said, it's really radioactive, uh, really radioactive, however, and this is how your smoke alarm works, when the smoke passes in front of the source, it cuts off the stream and, send, and triggers the fire alarm. So it can be stopped by paper and smoke, and that means that it doesn't penetrate your skin. So this is a non-penetrative form of radiation, and it's everywhere in the environment. Um, of course, there are stronger forms, there is beta decay, and there's also gamma rays, which are given off too. But just so you know, not all radiation is terribly, terribly deadly. Just don't get it in your body. Thank you.